we're back. Nightly review. This time I'm reviewing. Well, I'm reviewing Lion Bar. Lion. Well, it is Lion Bar. Or Lion, Lion Bar. Bars. Yeah, yeah, Lion Bar. Yeah. Um, Lion, not Lion Bar. Don't get mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> Looking out there, what the hell, is Lion Bar? No, nothing. It's um just our pun on Lion. Uh, yeah, we can't go into that now. Director's um. What's the director's name? Gareth Davis. What was he done? Well, he did. Uh, I thought uh, I'd say Wolf there. No, I haven't seen Lion, but he did. He did a TV series that BBC and New Zealand like co-produced. Mm-hmm. Called Top of the Lake, Jane Campion. Remember her from the piano and in the cut. Or director. Yeah. She, oh, she did she, in the cut. Yeah, she did. Oh, in Meg, the cut. Meg Ryan. Uh, yeah. You know, she did the piano and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So she basically um, created this or wrote this thing that he directed called Top of the Lake, which was quite good. It's, it's a, like a mystery of a missing um, missing, missing youth. child. <laughs> right? Literally missing youth, when you think about it. <laughs> what, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. It's got Elizabeth Moss and Peter Mullen and David Wenham, who's, I guess, re- reunited with him in this film called Lion. Hmm. Well... Directed, yeah, by as you said, um, what's his Dave name? Patel, <laughs> yeah, Dave Patel, Dave Patel's in it, isn't it? Dave or Patel. Dev Patel, I don't yeah. know which way you pronounce his name, I thought you pronounced Dev or Dave, Dave. Dev. Oh, no. not Dave. Um, it can be Dave if he likes, he's <laughs> <laughs> saying Dave Patel and it is Dev Patel. Dev just sounds you, Dev, no, it's Dev, it's you about Dev-ed. even Dev, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, Dev Patel's cool, you know, some millionaire. And yeah, but you got room, room that I like. You also have to. Rooney Mara, Nicole Kidman, and that other guy. David Wenham? Yeah, that's him. Uh, we'll keep on forgetting his name, but he's in loads of stuff. Yeah, everything. Lord of the Rings, 300, yeah. mm. everything. And um, the whole movie's about uh, an Indian child who gets adopted by Australian parents. Yeah. Uh, they adopt, I don't know why, they just adopt him anyway. So... <laughs> They adopt him, uh, get bring lost? him to Tasmania of all the places. <laughs> nice place. Yeah. And uh, basically he grows up normally like you would. And then when he gets older, he wants to find out where he came from. Mm. That's so basically the premise so it's of the based movie. on a true story, yeah? Yeah, based on an actual true story. By the end of it, uh, you get to see the real life people, what they look like and all that. Well, it happens in most biopics, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Which is actually that made it more interesting. Like, oh, it's even better. Um, I keep on looking at you like you went to watch it. I went to watch it anyway. Um, it's very well directed in a way, it, it has a lot of uh, well, it was India, yeah. It's first, one place first you feature, can really yeah. huh? first feature for him, is it? Yeah, because it's like TV movies and TV. So, mm. what did you think about that? Didn't know, but he's got an eye for uh, cinematography. He's got an eye for visuals. Um, he really showed off um, a lot of India, as in, even though just like some like Men there, you had a lot of scenery of India and a lot of poor parts, mm. same type of thing. Um, and it's India, so when you go there, and this is supposed to be based in 1986, mm. or the past is, and. Um, that part of India, because I thought it was just going to be straight, you know, forward, as in uh, he's older now, and then he goes back. Instead, they start off straight away when he's young yeah, and in India. And he's got a brother whose name, I think, is Sheru or something. And uh, they both are really poor. they got a mom yeah. and uh, uh, a sister as well. And they basically, the mom does... I don't know, just gathers rocks or something. Yeah, so Literally. They, so they go a, across fast. Yeah, they have to places. go far away from where they live. Get to, water, rocks. Yeah, water. and all that kind of stuff. And um, while this is all happening, uh, Dev Patel, um, his character <laughs> ends up falling asleep, wakes up, gets stuck on a train for ages, and then he loses sight of his brother and doesn't know where he's from because. He ends up in Bangladesh, where nobody can really speak English. I mean, uh, not English, obviously. Hindi. But nobody can speak Hindi. Yeah. And he is the only one who can speak Hindi. So 
being a child, stuck in that situation. It's really difficult, but it shows the way the people are just pushing the kid around, just like, I oh, just get out of the way, you know. We're too busy with our own lives and stuff. It's pretty typical of India when it comes to kids, I thought it was especially back then. <laughs> so, Bangladesh yeah, is in India. Yeah. <laughs> is it in India? That's controversial. Yeah, yeah, but in India. yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Like yeah. the old, but um, is it controversial? Indian, Indian subcontinent. Mm. It's an independent country. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> they call themselves Indian. How they do? Some of them do actually. Right, we'll move on from. I, I don't know. I got clear. I don't care. But um, as for the movie itself, um, it, it goes around that way. So it's a bit of a language barrier that way. Um, there's a lot of for PG. There's a lot of um, insinuation of child slavery and child um, bit of paedophilia going on there somewhere. Wow. For a PG, it's, it's mildly hinted at, but not brought forward. Mm. But just have hints of it. For a PG, I was very surprised. The Slumdog Millionaire, uh, when I watched that, there's, there's some scenes that a lot of people found upsetting when they're blinding the kids with... How they yeah yeah some really like people thought oh this this is all song this, and dance but it's not it has it's has stuff close to it but not quite it's more to do with the amount of children that are lost in uh, India as in uh, there's like eighty thousand a year yeah. some stupid like that yeah, yeah. Well, mainly in this case yeah India um, the amount of children that are lost is unbelievable plus the fact that when because India is so vast. It's sometimes it's hard to find what region someone's from because they got little villages and whatnot. Yeah. So when somebody mentions a village, it doesn't necessarily mean they all know about it. It's not like you could say in the UK, which is smaller island, you can oh is this place from that region? Yeah. And this has got so many little villages everywhere. Yeah, no one's gonna know where every every yeah. place is. Yeah. Um, Even when you're trying to find it on a map. It's yeah, ridiculous. when you think about with with countries, even advanced countries, especially in nineteen eighty six, when you know technology really wasn't that advanced then. Yeah, you didn't have the internet, did you? Yeah, I mean, I no. mean, I mean, I would, I would imagine even now, uh, however advanced the country is, you know, half the people are literate, half of them don't even have a toilet facility in the house, or you know, mm. completely different world, mm. and not in a good Bill Cosby type of way. <laughs> hey, different strokes. No, there's a world. There's a film. There was a show called Different World. Remember when Lisa Gre- goes to college? Lisa Bonnet. What was it? Lisa Bonnet's character? Denise. Denise. Her character's called Denise. Oh yeah, jeez. Remember that? God, I forgot all about that. Different world. Like I need to be reminded, and that just came and went. Didn't come and went. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just wish that the uh, the uh, alleged attack of victims of Bill Cosby probably wish that he he just went. But he pretty much did just came. come. And- you know, considering, okay, it's a PG, but, and he's born in Tasmania, not born in Tasmania, he ends up in Tasmania. Raised, raised in Tasmania. Yeah, I expect some, you know, some racial stuff to be going on or something because it ain't exactly, Australia really ain't exactly very friendly when it comes to that kind of stuff. And there's none of that in this whatsoever. So it was a bit poppy coddled a bit, uh, that bit, brushed out of the... Would it have been rele- re- relevant if he suffered a if we saw a scene where he's he's suffering from racism? Maybe, but I don't think it would make any difference to the actual uh, yeah, general plot. That's why it wasn't in there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it would have actually done something to it. it. Would have showed you know a white family trying to raise kids that aren't white. And they probably would have. And then him and uh, feeling alienated. I mean, this probably. May have happened, may not have happened to him in real life, but you could see the alienation and why he really wants to find out where his mum is and stuff. Got to be an incentive for him yeah. to leave. This would be if you you know over exaggerate, put some extra spice on it. Yeah, it might have been just a subplot that the director thought was not worth it. Well, it's not. You can't really portray that much in a PG film, so I presume he didn't want to go that far. Yeah, because you got to say some words. They would have had to move it up to twelve A, I guess. That would just be twelve A, fifteen I mean. or something. Maybe, um, especially with Australia and their uh, ratings are ridiculous. Pretty much everything's banned from there, the way it looks. Um, Apart from Austin Powers. Dave Patel was excellent. He's actually, he looks a bit like Josh for some reason, our friend. You might Roman. see him. Um, you might see him in the future. It's like, he's like six foot six. So is he, is he Dave tall? Patel yeah. looked massively, it's like he had a growth spurt or something. Suddenly, yeah. 
It's like you went from Dev Patel. You you start saying Dave now. No, Dev, Dev Patel. Patel. He's got a. He's, 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 it's a good day for him today. He got a nomination, yeah. isn't he, for this? Yeah. Which um, granted, an actor. Do you reckon he was good? Yeah, he was really good. He's supporting actor. Yeah. He was the main actor. Then. I don't know. I don't know how they they come to that conclusion. I don't know how the heck that's a supporting maybe, actor role maybe, when maybe he's the, the main. Uh, was the thing. main actor in it? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the kid did a pretty damn good job, actually. Yeah. Fine. Um, anyway, yeah, Dave Patel does a very good job. If he wins it, good for him. And some, even though he looks as if he's been working out a lot, and then he does look like somebody who'd be, you know, world tripping and stuff. Um, world tripping, you know, globe or something. Globe trotter. Yeah, and um, he has got all that long hair, and he looks all like, yeah, man, yeah, or something. But he he's really good in it. Um, as for his brother, uh, the person who plays his adopted brother, he's okay. He, for some reason, oh, this one didn't get. For some reason, Dave Patel's got like an English accent. Yeah. But he's and born in Australia. He's raised in Australia. Raised in Australia. Uh, even though I think his dad's got a bit of an English accent in it. And, and I think uh, Nicole Kidman's voice isn't quite Australian enough for some reason. Maybe the expats from England. But, but uh, even though she's Australian. But but for weird reasons, yeah, his really? brother's got a proper thick Australian accent. That's weird, isn't it? His adopted brother. He's got a really thick Australian accent, even though he's adopted from India as well. So that's kind of like, that's a bit strange. So, 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 his, oh, so, so his brother is in India, Australia as well? Yeah, the two of them got adopted. Okay, but his you, brother's the you, one with the giving, actual Australian you, accent. Are you giving too much of the plot away? No, because this is right at the start. This is where it starts. Oh. There's no real plot you have to give away. The main plot is what happens by the end, because by the end he starts wondering, is he going to be able to make it? Is he going to be able to find the place? Oh, right. How's he going to do it? Is he going to just give up? Is it just pointless? Maybe he just should be happy with what he's got instead of trying to pursue something. Oh, you said away. his adopted brother, not his real brother. I was, I was thinking, my mind was going, is his real brother in India? No, the brother, he, he left his brother behind. Yeah, yeah. The person that missed out is um, Rooney Mara. Was she good in it? She was Rooney Mara. As normal. As she always is. I mean, did I... I think it just ripped the hell out of her and won the podcast from Let's Talk Shorts. Is it? But, is it? Uh, Let's Talk Something or something. Yeah. Is she the Eric Roberts of female acting? No. It's she's just... bad, but she's just... I don't know, maybe I just have a hate for her just because of the fact that she... Why do you hate her so much? I think it's just Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, but that wasn't her fault. Yeah, that she was her fault. It. Even she said she was in it. But she was you know, in it, she's trying to get, and even she's trying to move even up she the said, industry. "Oh, I didn't think it was that great. I didn't have to do such a great job. So you know, I just did what I did just to get the paycheck. I don't care." And the problem with that film is, not besides the film itself, is her because she's so stale. She's the main character. And I, can't I know that. she's so stale I'll to I'll the just, point it just, just makes you not give a damn either. Mind. I know. She, I keep remembering. Yeah. But she doesn't have Nancy. black hair. She, she has difficult hair, doesn't she? Or, or, or. I don't know. I don't care. I Forget it know. anyway. She's in this. Please. Oh, please, man. Okay. Please. <laughs> By the end of it, everybody's said, oh, you're going to tear up and everything. Well, you feel, yeah, that's emotional, but you don't really tear up unless you really get that emotional. I didn't quite get there. But uh, it was really good as well made. Well acted. Uh, the progression of the plot was good. It just didn't go that extra mile. Maybe it's because it was a PG. Or maybe because uh, they're trying to stick too much to the original real life story or what. I'm not sure. But if you you know, if you know, gave a little bit more privilege to the writer, or the person who adop- adapted it, they could have put a little bit extra on it. So, so a it's extra not, sauce. So it's too, ben much, Affleck, too much based... Rather, that rather than it should be should have been more inspired by the story. Yeah, it w- yeah, that would have been better. Hmm. Inspired by a real life story or based on real life story, it doesn't more, make a difference really. When you use the word inspired, it gives you more. T- no, if you say based to, on, it's the same thing. I mean, no, it's no, like no, when they say based, based on nothing. When they say based, it's more like <laughs> based on based on the in, fact that we found the CD. In, when you say inspired, you're saying you're more inspired, creative to change it to whatever it suits you. Yeah, I guess. But it's pretty much to me, it just seems like the same thing these days. Not always real life people get upset when you do that. Maybe, but it's based based on his book. It's based on a book. 
Fox, is he Foxcatcher? The guy who's upset. The wrestler. Oh, right. Yeah, so, you know, people... So was um, uh, Shining. Uh, Stephen King was upset. Yeah, but we don't want real life people. Uh, he's yeah. a real life person. No, no, no. But the he, Stephen he, King was a real life. Fictional work. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, yeah. They don't like... he, adapt- he adapted it. He put some extra stuff on it. Well, pretty much threw his stuff out the window and made it. I mean, Stanley Kubrick, I would say, a much it's, more incredible. It's not thing. even. It's not even inspired. It's like touched on the novel. <laughs> <laughs> Line, very good film. I give it a great rating. Actually, yeah. it's a great film. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds like one that I would. Uh, it's worth a watch. Definitely was, worth a I was watch. Having a, but it kind of it kind of reminds me of remember that um, thing you were on about, which is um, Danny Dyer. His, uh, how you found out his family tree and stuff like that. And his oh, you mean, um, who do you think you are? Yeah. Danny Dyer, apparently yeah. he's related to Richard III and the Plantagenet. Don't yeah, the, the progression of that is kind of like that in the same kind of way. Oh. It's kind of, you, you, you want to find out yourself, is he going to do it? Or what's it going to yeah. be? And, and you kind of root, root, rooting for him. Yeah. So it is the character that you care about then. Even yeah, though it's, yeah. He does a well job. I mean, Rooney Mara, Rooney Mara does her bit as well, pretty well. She's <laughs> well done, but you know, I don't want to give her too much credit because she's just okay in it. She plays his girlfriend. That's about it. That's all I can really say. She doesn't really add anything extra from, to it. From the poster, I could tell she was a good the girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, but they don't kiss or anything. They just cuddle. <laughs> no, I don't know why, but that's the way they play it. This is PG. That's why don't kiss. Oh, really? You can't kiss on a PG, can I you? I don't know. <laughs> it's an Indian PG. It's an Indian PG yeah, made Hollywood in the PG. UK. Yeah, or so US or whatever. So, no. so when they come to kiss, the camera's just like... And they're like... It goes that. like that. Or the, or the, or, oh, or, little, or, li- li- the door closes li- or... Yeah, or the peacock swings <laughs> open. <laughs> or a flower goes past. Yeah, yeah. But I like the way they... Even, even though it's India, and you think, oh, did they try to... Set it up in a way so it looked like 1986. They don't have to because India still looks that way. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, if you ever go there, it still looks. Doesn't look, hasn't it, changed nothing really changed. I mean, it's been like, well, God knows how long. It was like. About 30 years? Yeah, and over that actually. Over, yeah. Um, it hasn't changed. It's pretty much the same damn thing. It hasn't changed too much that you can't just go and just film it. And make it look as if it's back then. Go watch it. It's a very good film. It's great. Uh, in the meantime, I'm getting tired. It's getting too sleepy. It's a nighttime review yeah. or nightly review. Or, I might, um, I might take your hint and catch get a it. cup of cocoa. Go to bed. Get some coffee. And sleep enough. I'm not getting no coffee because I'm not. Fo- no, no, if you, you can go get some coffee, yeah, good idea. Just wake up. We'll stay red, up all night. Red, red we can do ball, some more reviews. Red of, of whatever the hell's in the background. Yeah. You know, um, We're going to watch all of those films. I've already watched all the stuff. <laughs> by, the, by, the, by the morning. It's just half of the day. Oh, no, God. And when you look at that, you just think, God damn, man. That, that-